Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Aeroscale, and we've got another cracking the box for you. Today is a brand new kit uh, from a brand new company, Freedom Model Kits. This is the X-47B uh, U.S. Navy uh, UCAS uh, unmanned combat air system. Uh, so this uh, is their item number FD-18001, which obviously means it is the first kit I believe they put out. Um, not sure their numbering system, to be honest. I'm, I I wish that kit makers would stick with the scale in the number, uh, like 48001, but okay. Um, this is 148 scale, obviously. Um, it has folding wing, wing options, according to the box. Uh, features finely engraved panel lines, uh, folding wings and flap options. Weapons bay door can be positioned opened or closed. Um, a rester hook can be put, uh, posed up or down. Nose gear can be built in either launch or stowed modes. Multiple decal and paint options are provided. Two-step tooled GBU-32 bombs uh, are supplied. So that all looks good and is easily understandable. Um, the kit is made in China, I believe Hong Kong or uh, mainland China. Um, and it is a new company, as I said, this this Freedom Model Works. I'm not sure whether they're going to just specifically be aircraft initially or whether they're going to get into other genres, but we'll see. So right off the bat, we've opened it up and we see the instruction manual which um, looks good. It's a fold-out style, not a page-by-page page or a thing. Um, the, the manual itself looks uh, pretty well laid out and very easy to follow. The, I like the line drawing aspects um, that are, it's, you know, somebody's taken some time to, to do this one uh, for a new company. That's always a good sign. And they do have a parts overlay here. Um, pretty much all the parts are obviously used because this is their first release. So I don't assume there'd be anything extra. Um, and then we have a color marking and um, layout guide here, two-sided, um, and I think actually two-sided, actually like that. Um, and then they have a painting and reference list down here at the bottom with um, Chinese and Japanese, um, as well as English, obviously. Um, and it just lists like C1, C37, so I'm not sure which paints they're actually using, it doesn't say. All right, so um, here's the plastic, and we take a look at the the, for the airframe here, the primary um, upper deck area, I guess, or upper, what's the word for aircraft in this scenario? Because it's obviously part of the wing as well as the fuselage. I'd, I'll say fuselage, the upper fuselage. Uh, very interesting heavy plastic design here, like the, the actual um, sprue around it. Obviously, they're... Uh, Dealing with these are all runoffs, obviously in production. I think is the way it works. Um, so looks good. There's um, obviously like push pin marks on the backs here, but otherwise it, the panel lines do look nice and clean. There's a little bit. Is that a push pin? Yeah. There's a just a little visible kind of uh, circle here where the push pin actually created kind of this white effect. But I'm not detecting anything raised there. Let me get it up here where you can see it. So that. I think it's just basically kind of a coloration issue, not an actual um, anything that came through. A little bit the same thing on the other side, but but even less. So, but the panel lines do look. I'll, I'll try to hold that up. You can. I, there will be some photos toward the end of the the uh, video here. So um, it's not really giving you a very good close up there, is it? Because my camera just doesn't want to sometimes focus in. So I'll I'll rely on the photos for that. But yeah, there is some really really fine detail here in these vents and the various um, the various uh, indented panel lines. So here's the lower uh, fuselage or the, the gear and the um, types of things that this air, this stealthy stealthy unmanned air, unmanned aircraft uh, do um, provide. I'm not sure I can do a test fit on here. Let's see. Doesn't really allow me to with the way the plastic's set up. You'd have to cut it off. But it looks like everything lines up. They've just got like a pin here on the front, some pins on the side, and then there's um, kind of some just ridge areas here where I guess you'd glue. But that all looks good too. And again, the panel lines here and the production quality look excellent. Um, there are going to be a lot of, of clipping points here, on the, so be careful. I mean, it looks like it'll come off fairly easily and, and very good overall. All right, so then the next um, one is two sprues, and that includes the, um, which section is that? 
Uh, this must be like the some of the interior uh, bits. I guess this is where the yeah, like this is where the that piece fits in there because there's like an, I think there's an air scoop or something in the front there. Um, so yeah, it's just more more uh, flaps and bits and things. All looks good. And this one is. Um, I think this is the whole thing, whether it's open or closed, so that maybe that maybe that's the the optional type of thing. So again, this looks like very similar pieces, um, but maybe they're the upper, the lower and upper sections. All right, so uh, then moving on, we've got some of the finer parts, um, some of the jet turbines, and um, I don't know if those are fuel cells or bombs. Um, does this thing have weaponry, or is it just mostly a spy plane? It does look like it has some... Yeah. Here's the landing gear. Um, good, again, I'm not seeing any um, real issues with this. So, uh, look for look at the photos yourself, and you can kind of see. Uh, I'm seeing a little bit of what may be flash around these gear, but no, that's, no, that's good. Well, yeah, there's, it looks like there's, I don't know if I can see it in the video, but let's see if I can get the camera to focus in. Yeah, I guess looking at it in the video, it doesn't look like it's too, too much there. There's a real, very small photo etch piece. I'll take a photo of that and put that in at the end, but I assume this is mostly for maybe landing gear parts. And then there's a, a decal sheet, which uh, is actually just open here and uh, a bit stuck. They should probably have put a, uh, um, whatever the sheets are that go over the decals, the anti-stick sheets. Um, so that's a lot of decals. Um, a, a lot, a lot. They've got different different carriers here, the Stennis, the Washington, Eisenhower, Lincoln, Reagan, Bush, Ford, Roosevelt, Vinson. Uh, yep, Truman. So, yeah, a lot of uh, potential deployments there and, and so forth. All right, so again, I'll take some photos of all this stuff and uh, then we'll come back and we'll wrap up. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the photos of the X-47B. This is just a preview review, so um, I, I do apologize. This has actually been sitting here for a little while, and I have been swamped with other things. Uh, my apologies for Freedom Model Kits, because it was nice of them to send us this, and I believe a little bit early. So uh, hopefully it'll be this will be out now in stores and so forth that you can get it. Uh, you may have a little t trouble. I'm not sure who's distributing this, like in the United States. But um, I believe it. you should be able to find it through a lot of the Hong Kong uh, retailers if you are looking for it. Um, so take a look there uh, if you can't, if you have trouble finding it at uh, maybe your, your normal uh, outlets. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think this is a good sign for this manufacturer. I mean, I, I really think that uh, they have, and I'm not going to speak to the accuracy of the super secret spy plane, which I'm not even sure how you get like up close and personal this thing to make a kit out of it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it looks like a good start for this company just in terms of plastic production, and uh, we'll hope to see some more offerings from Freedom Model Kits in the future. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments and suggestions, please leave them below or questions. 
Um, this kit is available for a build review um, or um, a, a detailed inbox. Maybe or, uh, I'd like to get maybe a blog of something like this too. So any any of those options, just uh, you can give me a email at publisher at kitmaker.net. And of course, this item I believe has been on our uh, sample spreadsheet. Um, if not, I will add it post haste. Um, but uh, but keep an eye on that. If you are looking for samples, like review samples and things like that, you can find them on our home pages. Um, if there's a list available, it will be listed under the reviews uh, block of uh, new reviews. It'll say available samples. Just click that link. Um, you do have to have potentially, I think, a, a, a Google account or something to access the online spreadsheet that we have there. But thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on Cracking the Box.